This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hello everyone and Happy New Year. It's 2019, a brand new season for High School Whiz Quiz and we are so glad that you can join us. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller, and we're going to start the season off a little differently this year. We have Defiance High School represented with two teams to begin our first game. We have Team A and Team B, and we're going to introduce you to our players in just a minute. We also want to welcome back our judge, Mark Dickman, and we are so grateful that he is joining us once again. So let's introduce you to our players. Joining us now from Defiance High School, Team B, we have Brandon Morgan, David Alford, Landon Dockery, and Timothy French. And Team B is coached by James Kerr. Welcome to you gentlemen. All right, turning now to Team A from Defiance High School, also coached by James Kerr. We have with us Connor Black, Xavier Payne, Ethan McCabe, and Ben Adkins. Team A, welcome to all of you. All right, guys, we have our first round. 10 questions, we're 10 points apiece. Let's get those buzzers ready. When you answer, please speak up with those answers and make them as complete as possible, all right? Let's go, question one in the year 2019. All right, in what city did the first U.S. presidential inauguration take place? Team B. Philadelphia. Philadelphia is incorrect. Team A, you've got a chance here. Yes. New York City. New York City is the correct answer. Question number two. Who was the second man to walk on the moon? Yes, Team A. Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin is correct. Name the five permanent members of the United Nations Security Council. Team B. United States of America, Russian Federation, China, France, United Kingdom. That is the correct answer. Very good. All right. Question number four. The Hoover Dam is on the border of what two states? Team A. California and Nevada. That is incorrect. So Team B from Defiance, you've got a chance with this question. Yes. Utah and Nevada. That is also incorrect. It's Arizona and Nevada. All right, moving on to number five. How long is a furlong? All right, team is up, teams. The answer is 220 yards or 660 feet. Okay, moving on. Which cola came first, Dr. Pepper or Coca-Cola? Yes, Team A from Defiance. Coca-Cola. That is incorrect. Team B, you want to give it a shot? Yes. Dr. Pepper. There you go, Dr. Pepper. All right, number seven. Which U.S. president was given the oath of office by his father? Team A from Defiance. George W. Bush. That is an incorrect answer. Team B, you want to try? Yes. John Quincy Adams. That is also incorrect. It's Calvin Coolidge. All right, number eight. What artist did a famous painting of Campbell soup cans? Team A. Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol is correct. All right, moving on to number nine in this first round. Who coached the Green Bay Packers to victories in the first and second Super Bowls? Yes, Team A. Vince Lombardi. Vince Lombardi is the correct answer. And here's your final question in this first round. The French word bell means what in English? Yes, Team A from Defiance. Beautiful. Beautiful is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our first round in this exhibition game between Team A and Team B from Defiance High School. And here is our score. Defiance A, you have 50 points. B with 20. We'll be back with rounds two and three after the break.
Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. We're moving into round two of our exhibition game between two teams from Defiance High School. Here's our score right now. Defiance Team A has 50 points and Team B has 20. That means Team A, you're going to lead this round with five questions worth five points apiece. Please still buzz in with your answers, okay? All right, who is the only player to win two Heisman trophies in college football? Yes. Archie Griffin. Archie Griffin is correct. What is the longest river entirely within the state of Ohio? Yes. The Olentangy? That is incorrect. It's the Scioto River. All right. Question number three. Identify the nickname given Mary Hayes after bringing water to troops in 1778. Yes. Molly Pitcher. Molly Pitcher is correct. Give the nickname for showman William Frederick Cody. Yes. Buffalo Bill Cody. Buffalo Bill is correct. And your final question in the second round. What New York City borough was home to Shea Stadium and is now home to City Field? Yes. Brooklyn. Brooklyn is incorrect. I think you said it though. It's Queens. All right, moving over now to Team B for your five questions. You guys all set? Okay, please buzz in. What Apache warrior died in 1909? No? The answer is Geronimo. All right. Identify the amendment that changed the date of U.S. presidential inaugurations. Time is up. It is the 20th Amendment. All right. What is the smallest state in America by land mass? Yes. Rhode Island. Rhode Island is correct. All right. What is the smallest state in America by population? Yes. Alaska. Alaska is incorrect. It's actually Wyoming. All right. Your final question in the second round. Name the author of the novel Roots. Time is up. The answer is Alex Haley. All right, we're moving now into our final round in this exhibition game between Defiance A and B teams. All right, again, these are 10 questions, all 10 points up for grabs. Here is the score. Defiance B, you have 25 points. Defiance A with 65. All right, here we go. What biblical person said, I am the voice of one calling in the desert? Yes, that would be team A. Moses. Moses is incorrect. You want to try it, B? Abraham. Abraham is also incorrect. It's John the Baptist. All right, number two. What year did Neil Armstrong take the first step on the moon? Yes, Team B. 1969. You are correct, 1969. What six-letter word has become synonymous with the word search? Yes, that'd be Team A. Google. Google is the answer there. All right, question four. What is the square root of 256? <coughs> Team A? 16. 16 is correct. All right, question number five in our exhibition game for Defiance. What city in Ohio 
is home to Captain Underpants. Yes, Team A. Piqua. Piqua is correct. Who knew? What candy has official flavors such as dead fish, spoiled milk, and rotten eggs? Yes, that would be Team B. Bean Boozled. I'm sorry? Bean Boozled. That is incorrect. Team A, you've got a chance here. Yes. Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. Jelly Belly is the answer we're looking for. You're right. All right, number seven. What U.S. coins were called reds in the 1800s? Yes, Team A. Pennies. Pennies is the answer. All right, three questions remaining in this game. Identify the president who promoted the New Deal. Yes, Team B. <coughs> Franklin Delano Roosevelt. You are correct, Franklin Roosevelt. All right, name the form of electronic cash that is the first decentralized digital currency. Yes, Team A. Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the answer. And here's your final question in this exhibition game. Name the reality TV show that has contestants traveling to various locations on the globe. Com yes, that would be Team A. The Amazing Race. Amazing Race is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our exhibition game with Defiance High School. Here is the score between the two teams. Defiance B, you scored 45 points. Defiance A, 135. Very good. All right, we'll be back with our next game right after the break, so don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Welcome back, everyone. We just wrapped up an exhibition game between two teams from Defiance High School. And so Defiance will automatically be moving on. They'll eventually take on the winner of this game now between Patrick Henry and Bluffton High Schools. Let's introduce you to our players joining us from Patrick Henry. We have Nick Yates, Emily Tackett, Chase Grimm, and Brett Sugg. And Patrick Henry is coached by Rick Fricky. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Bluffton High School. Playing for Bluffton is Derek Schwartzlander, Amelia Mitchell, Patrick Estelle, and Lewis Graham. And Bluffton is coached by John George. Welcome to all of you as well. Okay, we're going to play we're going to play two rounds before going into our commercial break. Our first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Make sure you speak as loudly as you can and make your answers as complete as possible, okay? All right, question number 1. How deep is a fathom? Bluffton. 100 feet. 100 feet is incorrect. So Patrick Henry, you've got a chance with this one. 10,000 feet? That is also incorrect. It's actually six feet. All right. <laughs> Question number two. What was a revolutionary period three cornered hat called? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Tricone hat. We will accept that. You are correct. Moving on to number three. Name the diet that strictly excludes a mixture of proteins found in wheat and related grains. Patrick Henry. Gluten-free diet. Gluten-free is correct. Question number four, what is your patella? Yes, Bluffton. Your kneecap. Kneecap is the correct answer. All right, number five, what was the biblical Luke's profession? Patrick Henry. He was a doctor. A doctor is correct. How many items are in a gross? Yes, Patrick Henry. 144. 
You are That's correct, 144. All right, question number seven in this first round. Name the sport in which players slide stones on a sheet. Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Curling. Curling is the correct answer. Name the battle fought on June 17th of 1775 during the siege of Boston in the early stages of the American Revolutionary War. Yes, that would be Bluffton. The Battle of Bunker Hill. You are correct. Very good. All right. Two questions remaining in round one. Which U.S. president programs were called the New Frontier? Yes, Bluffton. John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy is correct. And here's your final question in round one. Name the explorers sent out to explore the Louisiana Purchase. Yes, Bluffton. Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of round one now between Patrick Henry and Bluffton. Here's our score. Patrick Henry, you have 50 points. Bluffton, you have 40. That means Patrick Henry, you're going to lead this round with five questions, five points apiece, but please buzz in with your answers, okay? Give the common name for a bunch of broken blood vessels beneath the skin. Yes. A bruise. A bruise is the correct answer. What is the diameter of a basketball hoop? Yes. 22 inches? That is incorrect. It's 18 inches. Name the first four books in the Old Testament. Yes. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. You are correct. Name the Greek goddess of love. Yes. Aphrodite. Aphrodite is correct. And here's your final question in round two. Which character died last in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? Yes. Juliet. Juliet is the answer. Okay, Bluffton, it's your turn now for your five questions, five points apiece. Make sure you buzz in. What is the annual award given to people around the world who make contributions to the good of humanity? Yes. Nobel Prize. Nobel Prize is the correct answer. Name the organization in the United States that manages the development and operations of aircrafts in space. Yes. NASA. NASA is the answer. All right, on what planet is Biosphere 1 found? Yes. Earth. Earth is the correct answer. All right, two questions remaining in this round. Name the first four books in the New Testament. Yes. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That is correct. All right, you have one question remaining here. Name the country that became the largest former Soviet Republic in 1991. Yes. Russia. Russia is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of our first two rounds and here's a score, it's a close game. All right, Bluffton, you have 65 points. Patrick Henry with 70. We'll be back with our final round after the break, so don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, it's the first show of the new season, and we have a good game for you playing, being played right now. Patrick Henry and Bluffton are going at it, and Bluffton, you have 65 points. Patrick Henry with 70. We're entering our final round. Ten questions, we're 10 points apiece. Let's get the buzzers ready. Please speak up, if you can, as loudly as possible. In what city is the Mormon Tabernacle? Yes, Patrick Henry. Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City is correct. 
What is the last stop of the overseas highway from Miami? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Flint, Michigan? That is incorrect. Bluffton, do you want to try it? Yes. Key West? Key West is the answer. All right. In what state will you find Glacier Bay National Park? Yes, Bluffton. Alaska. Alaska is the correct answer. What type of insect did John the Baptist eat in the desert? Yes, Bluffton. Locusts. Locust is correct. All right, question five. What happened on December 7th of 19? Yes, it'd be Patrick Henry. Bombing of Pearl Harbor. That is correct. Question number six. For what sport is Harry Potter a seeker? Yes, that'd be Patrick Henry. Quidditch. Quidditch is correct. All right, moving on to question number seven in this tight game. What author wrote the fairy tale, The Princess and the Pea? Time is up, teams. The answer is Hans Christian Andersen. <laughs> All right, three questions remaining in the game. Give the V word that means repeating something word for word. Yes, Bluffton. Verbatim. Verbatim is the answer. What body of water is on the west coast of Florida? Yes, Patrick Henry. The Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico is correct. And we have one question remaining in this game. To what was the biblical Abram's name changed? Yes, Patrick Henry. Abraham. Abraham is the answer. All right, we have come to the end of our game between Patrick Henry and Bluffton, and it was a close one right up until the very end. Here is our final score. Bluffton, you had 105 points. Patrick Henry, if I could see the score again, 120. So congratulations. You are moving on in competition. Both teams, thank you for joining us again this year. Thanks for watching at home. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone.